make our way through um, the first few agenda items um, so we can focus mostly on preparing for the public forum. So uh, first on the agenda is approval of the minutes from April 3rd. <coughs> I guess they're okay. I was kind of out of it that night. I apologize, you guys. I got the COVID the next day, so... I know. Well, we're all fine. Are you feeling okay? Well, tired, but I'm neg I tested negative, so. Okay, good. So I guess they're okay. Move to approve. I will. I will second Carolyn's okay. <laughs> I didn't and paid okay, a movement. All in, <laughs> all in favor of approval? Aye. 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 Great. Okay. Next, panoramic photography project. So um, you'll see I put together sort of a condensed version of a few different documents that we were working on. Um, have folks had a chance to read through it and uh, get feedback? I know, um, I think Carolyn, you did. I read through it. Um, there's a lot of stuff. We should probably go through it sort of piece by piece and eliminate stuff or add, add things if people think it's necessary. Okay. Um, I'm just going to look up Mark's email. I don't think I heard back from Mark. Is Alan not coming to our meetings anymore? Um, he had to step back. I, he's still officially a part of the committee, um, but he is not readily available at the moment. Is he okay? Um, yeah, we can we can talk about that off um, offline. Okay. I don't know how to get that document and still be online. Um, it seemed like there was a repetition. That's, was, so you're going to go Four through? Paragraphs. Um, Dan is looking it up right now. So we're only focusing on the four paragraphs that I have at the very top, but we can pull um, information from the bottom if we want, or we can. What are the four paragraphs? Uh, Just tell me what they are, because I've read it all so much. One is on the history, I'm sure. Yeah. I thought I saw a word count, but I don't see it now okay. that Mark had specified or at least recommended. Did, does anybody know or does anybody recall any of that? I think you had said that um, he said it could be any length you want, but uh, he recommended it being uh, on the shorter side, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense to, to not get people too involved in, you know, just a forward or an introduction. But I thought, I just thought I'd throw it out there if anybody else saw it. I thought there was like a 260 or something like that, Ooh, 265 right. word count. Yeah. No, it's not much. And that's why I brought it up. Um, yeah. But I'll I keep think looking. it's important to um, um, emphasize the, um, the master plan. Yeah. Um, so, the word count right now is 226. That's what we have so far? Yeah. Okay. Um, because, uh, for, you know, keep it, stabilizing this building is certainly part of the master plan. The master plan did not say demolish it. They said preserve it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that it was, you're absolutely right. The master plan does say that, you know, it's the majority of people that would um, want to see um, our historic buildings preserved. Uh, so I don't know who um, does the master plan. In Amherst, it was the planning board. Is that how it is here? Or um, I think there's a there was a committee, and there was a um, uh, there were a couple of members from from planning board, from what I remember, and long range planning committee as well. But there were a lot of citizens, uh, right. especially at the update. Okay. And then did it go to town there. meeting? Did it go to town no, meeting? It went to town, 
I don't think it went to town meeting, but it was a, you know, it was an update of the master plan. And I think it was uh, uh, the PVPC who, who helped put it together. Uh-huh, uh-huh sure. That was in 2017. No. So that, that was the update, correct. So that's six years now. And yeah. the old but the numbers were pretty much the same. And the old Mohawk plan that's listed in this document was in 2013. Wasn't there an update to that? No, not yet, but we do have uh, a quote from Ward Hamilton that said uh, in the $8,000 range, I believe, to update the numbers for the items that we had specified. So. Yeah, exterior only. Yeah, I think that, you know, you know if, if, if our Article 19 passes, that would be our first order of business is getting check cut for him to update those numbers. So. The purpose of this website is to educate people on the history of the building, correct? Yeah. So that's what we need to focus on, right? Uh, well, as it fits into the town, the master plan. Um, yeah, you just, I think so, yeah. You just can't say, oh, this is a wonderful building, blup. Um, this is a wonderful building, and it's part of the master plan. It's been studied. Um, these are the costs to renovate it, and um, it will. It, but, but, what its purposes might but this be. Is not, but this isn't an, an application to ask for money. It's just a website to allow people to learn more about the school. Right, but this is a political. Yeah. It's kind of a political document. I. So we have to be convincing. All right. For me, it's a it's a tool to um, um, to show the town the importance of preserving his this historic building in the center of town. Yeah. Um, you know. So um, where is going to be? If the town, if the well, it's going to be anywhere people want it to be, you just scan the code and you can bring it up on your phone or or open it up on your computer. Um, but just to, to have another tool to show people, um, you know, the importance uh, and, you know, to, to your point as well, uh, the importance of, of following that master plan, preserve as much historic architecture in the historic center of town as possible. And we've already lost one building in the center of town. Um, well, that wasn't in very it, good shape. <laughs> it wasn't, but it, you know, it, it, it was one of our schools and, uh, a lot of people, you know, regardless of how the whole, uh, cookie crumbled, the, a lot of people in town were unhappy with that building coming down Yeah, and they are, they remain unhappy with the architecture of the new library and, you know, um, you know, it was, it was two a, different uh, groups of people, we, but I think if yeah. people understood in what terrible shape that building was, they'd probably they wouldn't keep comparing it to the Russell School building. <clears throat> yeah, I would agree. Um, you know, even the 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 uh, the town's maintenance person who um, is not necessarily in favor of putting stabilization money into the building at this point. Uh, did say that the the Hooker School building was in much worse shape than the Russell School is. Yeah. So I mean, have that. I mean, it's still in pretty good shape for its age. Um, it, and and many people's opinion, it's worth saving, and it is following the master plan. So, um, you know what we what you guys put together so far on you know the forward for this. Um, Looks good. I think we do need to read through it piece by piece and see if the stuff that we need to take out or add. Okay. Yeah. So let's focus on that. Yes. So. This is Carolyn's version, right? And this is the this stuff. Well, that's what I thought of, should. That's what I thought should be in there. Oh, there goes my dog. Okay, but it looks like you pretty much 
extracted a bunch of that. That's what I did. From the whole uh, right. kit and caboodle that uh, Courtney had assembled. Right. So that's the four paragraphs that I'm suggesting. These here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And the Hadley Center Historic District, Russell School served as the home of Hopkins Academy. 1894 until 1909. So 1896 is when the building was finished. So we probably are correct that. 1890. 1896. Yes, I believe it was 1896. I'll double check. Yeah, the whole thing. It was completed in December 1894. 1894. So we already we have uh, discrepancies. <laughs> uh, well, may, maybe the kids didn't get in there until '96. No, that can't be true. Let me look at the at the um, at the Daily Hampshire Gazette article of a period, and that will tell us definitively. Russell School. So we can find the date later. Let's just okay. uh, go ahead. Let's just continue. Um, now I stand corrected. It's April seventeenth, is eighteen ninety four, is the article in the Gazette. Okay, great. So I am incorrect. That's all set. Thank you. Great. So, Carolyn, do you want me to just read it, or do you have it in front of you? No, I'll have to go offline to get it. I think. Do you have a way for me okay. to be online and get it too? Um, I mean, I can send you the link uh, via email. No, 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 no. I can't. I'm on. I have it in my email, but yeah, I'm online right now. But can I get into my email and be online at the same time? Is my question. You should be able to if you open a separate tab. A separate what? All right, I'll just read it. Um, okay. So located in the Hadley Center Historic District, the Russell School served as a home of Hopkins Academy from 1894 until 1909 and as Hadley, Hadley's Elementary and Middle School until 1996, educating generations of Hadley youth. So that's the first paragraph. Thoughts, feelings? Great. In 1893, the townspeople voted unanimously to erect the building, knowing they didn't have enough money and would borrow funds from the Hopkins Trust in order to pay for it. Plans drawn by architect Charles E. Parks of Boston were approved. Yeah, do we April. need all that? We don't need that paragraph, do we? Which part? The plans? The whole thing. That whole paragraph. The first paragraph? No, the, what the she's reading right now. Is that the same paragraph? This is what you just... Well, we don't need the, the architect and the cost, and unless you want to say... I think we do. Um, Charles E. Parks, um, architect, I think is is critical because he does have other architecture in the valley. Well, can um, we say a famous yeah. local Could architect? Say <laughs> I wouldn't say famous, but I mean he's well known um, you know, local architect. Uh, so maybe we just get rid of the first sentence in 1893 that townspeople voted unanimously to wreck the building, knowing they didn't have enough money. Well, maybe just getting rid of the knowing they didn't have enough money part. I think that's kind of important too. It's part of the history okay. because it, I mean, it, it shows how much the town, how, how important the town thought it was to, yeah. to continue on with Hopkins Academy that at that point had been around a couple hundred years already. Yeah. I'm just saying that 200 words isn't very much. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, but, but what I have right now is 226. Yeah, but I wanted to add uh, some other things about the master plan and the, that stuff. Okay. Um, and I want to add uh, the language about the free, what is it, freestanding, freestone masonry? Freestanding, uh, unreinforced masonry. Standing. But, yeah, but you know, um, why do people want this? They, uh, what is it we're trying because to Because it makes do? it a unique We're thing. trying to... It to, makes it... Tell people what a great building this is. It's very historic. 
Um, it fits into the master plan and it, it's been praised up and down all over the place. That's, that's important. Uh, these, okay, uh, this is, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? That you and I think this is, history is wonderful, but will people get into the building by reading this stuff? I mean, I think um, the uniqueness of the building structure is important because it's one of very few in the area or maybe in the country that's built that way. Um, it is. And people um, are always saying, well, what's so, what's so special about this? Um, well, the first paragraph cool. says it's the most important, iconic, and highly visible. What? Don't you have in your first build, paragraph the Russell School building is one of the most important, iconic, and highly visible historic buildings? Isn't that your... I, you know, I should get offline. Um, no, I don't know how to do it without doing this. Maybe this is the one she likes that. In the, the, I think she'd like to have that in the first paragraph. Is it, think she's saying That's some, fine. some, that. somehow. But I, I mean, I, I, you know, you know, this is just a forward to the panoramic. This is just a quick blurb for people to get information about the building as they enter oh, the panoramic okay. presentation. So, I mean. If it gives them a little bit of background about the building, where it came from, how it became to be, um, then they can, because they're going to read through this fairly quickly. And then they're going to go into the, you know, they're going to go into the panoramic and start looking around at the building. Okay. And, I, um, I have I have it up online now. I have it up in front of my screen. Okay, so I just added that sentence um, at the beginning, um, and then I'll play. We can rework the rest of it. Okay. Based on that. Okay. All right. So continue on. In 1893, yeah, the townspeople voted unanimously to wreck the building, knowing they didn't have enough money and would borrow funds from the Hopkins Trust in order to pay for it. Plans drawn by Charles E. Parks of Boston were approved in April, and the building was complete by December. At the dedication ceremony, a reporter from Daily Hampshire Gazette quoted Municipal Building Committee member George B. Smith, quote, the new school building as it stands today is one of the most perfect buildings of its kind in the Connecticut Valley. It is a credit to the town and the surrounding towns, and not a murmur is heard from one citizen against paying the $17,177.09, which it costs. And that's kind of a quote from... Uh, yeah, um, the, the news a newspaper paper. article. Yeah, it you know yeah. it just again just shows the very beginning. You know the, the building in its infancy and and you know how proud the town was. Yeah, uh, you know how how much of that is going to pull at the heartstrings of of the voters. I don't know. You know. Um, it's doubtful. <laughs> you know, but voters these days, according to a town administrator, are only worried about money. So, um, you know, putting that $17,177.09. Um, I looked you know, up what it was. That's going to buy us. You know, if we, if we spent that, that kind of money on the building these days, it might fix a couple of steps. Yeah. As I just, for a point of information, it doesn't have to go in here, but or it shouldn't go in here. I looked up what how much that would be in today's money, and it's about seven hundred thousand. So, um, really, the cost of construction stuff is so much more than the value of money. Um, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, and you know, above and beyond that. Um, again, back then there was no building codes. 
But this is the type of building that building code was designed around. This is how they made building codes is they went to buildings that were built by people like Charles Parks and said, this is how you have to do it. And, you know, and then again, beyond even that, the technology we have these days, um, I didn't bring the samples of synthetic slate with me that's going to cut the cost of our slate roof oh, replacement uh -huh. in half. Um, right. But there's that kind of technology as well as insulation technology, window technology, lighting technology. There's so much brand new technology out there that will save this town bundles of money, Lots of money. going forward. Well, that's a good point to say at town meeting. You know, that there's it's all about uh, energy conservation and uh, longevity of, of the building materials. So and do you think this fake um, slate will last? You know, that's a thing that, you know, we have no idea. Synthetic slate's probably been out for, what, 10 or 15 years, but their warranty is 50. How they... You know, mm -hmm. how they're going to know they've never, it's, it hasn't been around for 50 yeah, years, just like the Advantech roofing that says 50 year warranty on every sheet. Well, that, that stuff has only been around for 20 years. It's not a sheet on the planet that's 50 years old. So they really don't know. No, they don't know. And, you know, you're hoping that you're hoping in 50 years, the company be around to warranty it. But yeah, you, you know, you have to take it at face value. Maybe in 50 years, Hadley will have a bundle of money. <laughs> To work on this. well you know it, you do what you can we do what we have to do um, Hadley's not just a rinky dig town anymore you know we're we're we still have about the same population as we've had in the past 30 35 years but there's a lot more going on here there's a there lot is. more people in town yeah during the day there's a you know our our uh, first responders are stretched to their the skin on their teeth. Are they um, really? Oh dear. You know to to you know to to insist that that uh, you know making a hasty decision on this building. I, you know we've been not making a hasty hasty decision on this building for so many years now. Uh, it's time to at least yes, stabilize right. it so that you can continue to not make a hasty decision. Okay, so I just added, Caroline, I just added that I one see paragraph. It, I see, I see, but you misspelled yeah. prominently. <laughs> Looks like permanent. Oh, yeah. yeah, I can change that. <laughs> so yeah. I can read through it again and make sure that there's not like. I like your last, your last sentence is very nice. Okay, great. So Anything I else to add in? Yeah. Not at this point. I, I, we should just keep going until we get it down. Okay. Sounds good. All right, moving on. We have uh, had the Historical Commission video update. I just want to let everyone know that it won't be finalized in time for a town meeting, but he'll see if he could do maybe something um, to show as people are walking in. Um, but we can also do the maybe the well, background. You mean, Courtney, you want this yeah. to show people as they walk into town meeting? What, what, you need, commission video. what you need is pictures, lots of pictures, maybe some sort of a running video. Not, yeah. it's, it would be really hard to, unless this is a handout, be really hard for people to read and absorb this as they're going into town meeting. Do you want this? As yeah, a so I'm saying, you know, no, I'm saying the video is not going to be available in time for town meeting. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Oh. But I agree that we need to, that it would be good to have some sort of PowerPoint present slideshow of some sort. To, yeah. Um, show well, I mean, actually. big pictures. That's the way the senior center people did it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so articles 18 and 19, I put, um, I, I typed them out and put them in the uh, speech for the public forum. Um, so I can, I'll just read them. So the draft article number 18 
um, says to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $30,000 from free cash or CPA funds if approved for select board to engage a firm to undertake a reuse feasibility study for the Russell School, said feasibility study to be undertaken prior to the expenditure of any further Community Preservation Act funds, which are being sought in the Article 19 below, or being sought in a future article to be scheduled for fall town meeting once the study results released are available for town's review, or uh, take and take another act, sorry, and take another action relative thereto. But this is not our article. This is, this is- No, it's not our article, but we're gonna have to talk about it. I mean, we can talk about it, but it's not up to us to present this. I mean, this is select board's article. Yeah. And, you know, they should be the ones, you know, uh, you know, yeah. putting, you know well, I, I, we didn't come up with this idea. Yeah, okay. and, Carol, and I guess Carol I, did. Uh, what does Carol, a fee, uh, and, what and is a feasibility study? What it what is a feasibility? Is it feasible to do repairs? Is it feasible to use it? It's basically, what the DRA did. What? Pardon me. It's basically what the Drummy Roseanne Architects did. That basically that is a feasible feasibility study. They had, and what did that do? Uh, the they ran the numbers to see what it would cost oh, to bring so the building a, up to code for a town hall. Okay, so it's and a cost it, you know, thing. Separated all of the costs out so that they maximized the absolute maximum what it would possibly cost to bring the building up to date. In other words, if they did every project separately, that's what it would cost to bring the building to code for a town hall use. So now, in other words, it'll be a lot more expensive than what we're proposing because it'll do all the handicap stuff right right it's a fee yeah to see how you know how feasible it is to to use the building for a particular use um in any case that's what that's not what article 19 is about at all so um you, you know to to exclude are any any expenditure out of Article 19 until Article 18 is taken care of is counterproductive. And um, and do you want to say that at town meeting? No, I will say that at town meeting, but I'm not going to tell Select Board how to forward or or present their article. Um, you know, I just don't think that you know that we're we're so many years away from an actual use. That yeah. spending money, and the thing is, any any money you spend on these feasibility feasibility studies, those numbers have to be within 365 days to use them. So they're going to be, you know, out of date within the first year, and the whole study is going to be thrown away, like the DRA. It's you can't use any of those numbers legally. So you know you have to you have to get updated numbers, and that's why we're going to, to with Article 19 to update the numbers from an old Mohawk study. Those numbers will be up to date, and then we can use those for the repairs immediately. So but you're Article looking 18, at this as a positive thing. I'm looking at Article 18 as uh, a. a you know, a chalk block, a, a, a roadblock. It, it's it's. Well, that's what I thought too. But it it's not getting it's not getting the building fixed, and it's not going to get the building fixed. So, it's just going to it's going to uh, delay any work to that building uh, for a longer amount of time, and it's not good for the building. Uh, so, should we stand up and oppose this article at town meeting? You know. I'm torn because any money going toward the building, in my opinion, is a good thing. So even though I believe that it's a waste of CPA dollars, I will, I will, you know, suggest that the town, you know, the select board should take out of their own free cash or whatever is, other town. Yeah, that's the warrant article. It's coming out of free cash. Right. Yeah. If it comes out of free cash, you know, fine. And we can use those numbers and compare them against you know, say we, we used Article 18 to do a feasibility study to use the building as a school. 
Now that is helpful because now it's it's not the DRA, which was used to building as a town hall. So now we have some comparison as to how, you know, what, what things are needed for a school, what things are needed for just a municipal building. And we, we can use those numbers. They might be out of date by the time we go to use them. That's it. That's the problem. They're going to be, yeah, they're going to be useful to our committee to help hone down uh, the costs for bringing the building up to code. For Wouldn't it be less expensive to, um, for municipal use rather than school committee use? I mean, school use. I think school would be more expensive. That's the right. Building as a school would, I think, yeah. it would end up being more expensive. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, you really don't know until you, you know, you have the numbers out front of you. I, you know, don't, I don't know those particular codes and rules and regulations, but I'm sure they're hefty. So, am I reading it correctly that if Article 18 passes, then Article 19 is just passed over completely? I don't think so. I think you can still vote on 19, but what they're saying is any funds in Article 19 cannot be spent until the funds for Article 18 are effectively spent and a study is complete, which right. to me, again, just kicks the can down the road and delays. Yeah. That's why I think we, we need to say that. We need to say that at town meeting. Um, and sure, also... Uh, um, wasn't there this thing that we can bring back Article 19 to the fall town meeting after this study is done? But I don't even know if the study would get done in time for town meet for fall town meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you there. And um, I think it's dangerous. You're, you know, we don't, we haven't seen any evidence that. The, that the maintenance department has made an effort to even put plastic down and put some buckets on the floor to collect the water when it's leaking. And, you know, that's, that's like no cost. <laughs> yeah. Know? And it prevents thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage to the interior of the building. If you just do that simple thing. So, um, well, maybe we could bring that up at town meeting that that if, if that's what this, well, that's that's more of a thing you could bring it up with your with your maintenance department, but or select well, board or, or the select you know. board. Um. You know, town 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 meeting floor is just trying to convince people to vote for one article or the next. I know, but they need to to realize if they're going to vote for this, it may not be the study may not be done by the fall. It most likely won't be, so it'll be at least another year for the next article to be approved, Article 19. I mean, uh, it's important to do the work, not necessarily. Any any work that you do to the building, to the exterior of that building, is going to have to be done for any use of the building. It doesn't matter who uses it or what. You know, it's it, it that has to be done. It has to be taken care of so that it remains, you know, a, a, a viable structure. And... Courtney, you and had to, all to, those uh, uses listed somewhere at one of your presentations yep. to the select board. So I guess that's relevant when we speak at town meeting for ta Article 19, don't you think? Or even yep. 18. Yep. And it, it you know, it, it, there's a, a tipping point where the um, the argument for Article 18 is is to not put the cart before the horse so that you have a plan to use the building. And the Article for 19 is not put the cart before the horse <laughs> and yeah. make sure you fix the building so that you can use it. And right. you, But see, we still don't have a use for it. So we need to make sure that it's standing when we do. We are not ready to spend $10 million on that building we need to, you know, we need to build a DPW building. And the numbers I've been seeing are 26 to 30,000 for, for a DPW structure. And we don't have, you know, we need to spend that money on that building because we know we have a use for it. And we got some really hardworking people up there working that building. 
What do you mean 26 to 30,000? I thought they wanted a new building. They do want a new building. What's or at least 26, build on to the old. What's the 26 to 30,000? 26 to 30 million. Oh, I heard thousand. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. BBW is, is a very important building. It should have been done years ago. Oh. But since we had other buildings to, you know, we had senior center to build and we had a fire station to build. Um, so we did that. But our next big project in town is definitely yeah. BBW, not Russell School. And if we can not raise taxes by, you know, fix the building up and not raise taxes, you know, I'm saying do that. And, you know, well, that's what we need the, to say at town meeting. Yeah. Ten, five, 10 years down the road, then do your feasibility study to figure out what the interior of the building, how to heat the building, what the lighting is going to be, yeah. what the approaches are going to be, how the ADA is going to you know, affect it. Well, um, see, the problem is most people say, well, what do we want to do with it? Um, that's the thing. And that's a lot of, a lot I, of people say that. I had somebody of, call me know, today about it, that, you know, why spend all this money if we're not going to do anything with the building? But um, it seems to me that yes. if it's done, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> Just like that movie, the ballpark movie. Yeah. And that's, how, that's how much what uh, one of the, one of the uh, select board members who tends to be opposed to this particular thing um, has said, she said, I have no problems with, um, uh, she said something like, I have no uh, concern that, um, the building will be used if it's fixed up. So that's not their concern at the moment. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, my, I just want to preserve the historic integrity of the downtown Adley. There's not much of it. You, you know, if you're on Route 9, you go by these buildings really fast. Yeah, right. But so many people have seen it. And, it, you know, you go down Route 91 and you have billboards advertising businesses in Hadley, Hadley, Hadley. Really? Big bright lights. And if you go through the center of town and they're tearing down their historic buildings, well, I'm not quite sure that's what those businesses feel. Yeah, like what, does that say? what does that say about handling? You know, yeah. How I mean, much did the I library that, cost? How much did the library cost to build? It was around it was around six and a half million, I believe. And how about the senior center? Seven point one. So this is completely in a different ballpark altogether. This is just one million. Well, the stabilization, sure. The sta yeah, the stabilization to, to make it stand for another, you know, it, just the stabilization years. will make it stand for another 50 years without needing maintenance. Right. But will you be, you know, we'll be able to use that building by the time the DPW building is, is done. And if the, you know, if you put a roof and, and do the, the the mortar repair on this building this summer, this fall. You know we can use that building effectively while the DPW is being built. Um, you know it's got a lot of space in there. Um, it's a good, strong building. It, is there much storage really, in the DPW building? No, DPW is is maxed out. They have no space. Um, well, if you've I, ever I gone in there, is there storage in that building? Oh, in the Russell School building? No, in the DPW that could go to the Russell School while it's being built, the new one's being built. No, there's no, there's no storage in TPW, and it's hard to imagine that the DPW would shut their existing building down to build a new one because there's nowhere for them to work out of. My inclination is that they will probably find a way to add on to the existing building and the existing... Uh, structures they have there it's going to be an incredible inconvenience um more so than it was for the town to move senior center into the church um it's going to be a crazy inconvenience for dpw and i would i would warn the citizens of the town that um you know it's going to be a rough time for dpw for a couple of years while they get that building up but it's worth every bit of frustration have Those you guys ever, work hard and they do a oh, great I know. job. Have you ever been to the Amherst DPW building? <laughs> yes. 
I worked there for about three years as the um, recycling coordinator. <laughs> it's quite a building. And of course, it's the last, it's fourth. It's always the last for for Amherst, the DPW building. So I'm glad that Hadley's um, going to support this. So, I mean, in fact, if they do word their, their um, uh, article 18 so that it says none of the funds for article 19 can be spent until article 18 is taken care of, that may sway me to vote against it. Well, and I think um, we need to t speak to that. Um, yeah, I think individually we probably will. It, number one, it's a waste of money. Number two, it will delay stabilizing the building. And the building, according to the old Mohawk study, says, and I don't know if you want to include this, Courtney, that you just said about how wonderful the building is, but the old Mohawk study said it's significantly deteriorating very quickly. And that was 10 years ago. Yeah, I mean, I think we should certainly include it in the public forum. I don't think we need to include it in the okay. panoramic. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, How much yeah. would it cost to tear down this Russell School building? Um, so I got a quote. Um, it was like seven or eight hundred. Um, so the total demo cost would be upwards of 383000 to demolish, and we'd be losing the $855,500 assessed value of the building, meaning a loss of $1.239 million to the town, nearly identical to our CPA application request, but pricier. Okay. That's important. But it's certainly possible that it'll be more than that. Um, that was sort of just a ballpark based on what I told them about, you know, the steam heat and asbestos and such. Um, I imagine, you know, if they were to come into the building and get, take a tour, it might be more expensive, but we have to pay for them to yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh boy. I I don't know that's why the select board did this. That's just the, that's just the monetary cost. <laughs> right. You know, the cost to the, the you know, the um, the town's history, I mean, it's forever gone. And so, I mean, I don't, I, I, there's no way to quantify that, in my opinion. So, draft article 19, do you guys want me to read it? Sure. So far, um, it says to see if the town will vote to transfer $46,550 from the CPA historic set aside fund, $1.189 million from the uh, CPA general fund for a total of 1.236 to the Hadley Select Board for planning and implementation of stabilization activities, including roof replacement, brick repointing, repointing of grid grant foundation walls and repointing of exterior brick. Um, so that needs to be fixed, obviously. Said funds to be expended under the direction of the town administrator within two years of the date of town meeting approval. Any unspent funds will automatically be returned, be ret oh no, that was probably made, to the foregoing CPA fund by that date. Okay, so the, uh, the word repointing is not really a word what you want to say is pointing pointing yeah so anywhere it says repointing is is um it's like department of redundancy department yeah. it's kind of strange that it's the select board that's in charge of this well i mean they are the people who i mean if and it makes me nervous because it's the majority yeah. of the select board that would you know, put Article 18 forward to slow the project down or That's stop right. it in its tracks. That's right. So when they have control of this money, um, you know, it's going to be up to us and the citizens to keep after them to make sure that, you know, we're on track to, you know, find uh, a reputable 
architect to drop the bid specs and then find, uh, you know, get the bid specs out, get the bids out so that people can start putting bids in and we can get this work done. That's right. So um, once, you know, and judging by what happened with the, the you know, the, the town hall columns and knowing that we've already spent a bunch of CPA money on just designing how to paint the columns. I think we've spent <laughs> 20 to $30,000 just for the plans to paint I'll some colors. Uh, no, that's just for the plans. I can't imagine what's going to cost to actually do the job. <laughs> and the, you know, I don't see that that money's been returned. So somebody got that money, and there's still the, the work's not done. Um, you know, my my understanding is, is just how it reads. If the money isn't spent within two years, it goes back. And I expect to have a bunch yeah. of work done to this building That's and any right. remaining money going right back to CPA. I do not want to waste CPA money on well, things. Like, which means you know. which means our committee will have to continue on um, to make sure. Oh, yeah, I'm here for the, the law. Town I've been hall. doing this for 10 years already. I'm yeah. not going to quit anytime soon. Um, I, I think I've said this several times before from being on the CPA. There is this law that a rule that they have hadley has not other towns but hadley you have to do the work within two years or the money goes back to the cpa and the other thing is that we looked into the regs of cpa about painting ta the town hall and that's beyond the scope of um cpa goals and allocations um ability to allocate money uh painting is uh, repairs are a one-time thing and apparently town hall has been um has used cpa money before so well when i say painting the the columns uh, the no, actual i know job, what you're saying i'm i went beyond the, the columns. i went beyond the columns because when i was on the cpa we looked at being able to paint the entire building and it was a no-no we couldn't do it and that's i think what um the town carol and brennan wants to do i think and it, it they've got to read the regs yeah well i mean the thing is once cpa approves it it's a you know what if they're the they're the gatekeepers of the funds and if they say it fits within the realm of, of their allocation, then so be it. And the town has to make the final decision. No, they won't even approve it, Dan. Oh, I know. I know. So and unless I mean that was the select board the CPA that I was on. This is a completely different committee. So who knows? Yeah. Who knows? And I, I think probably Carolyn Brennan doesn't really understand um all the stuff that david nixon was trying to do for the town hall for the building itself i don't know if there's a history well, there. it, the the uh the preservation of the building has been part of uh the municipal building committee plan i mean the uh right but you know, yeah, Back but it might have to use town money. It might have to use non-CPA money to do it. Oh, yes, we definitely will have to use non-CPA. CPA can only take care of the exterior, you know, the just the historic look of the building. Oh, they um, can't they, even do <laughs> they can do they can do things to accommodate for um for updating to um Americans. American Disability Act. So they can provide money to update for handicap ramps and such. Right. Just right. like they but did not for Goodwin. painting. Not for painting. Um, yeah, it's not a maintenance Unfortunately. fund. It's a it's a preservation fund, not that's a maintenance right. fund. So if we Correct. can preserve the building with those funds, that's what it's supposed to be for. Um you know, I and again I don't I don't take that lightly. I think that, that the CPA has done a great job at allocating the funds. They have stretched outside of their boundaries from time to time, but you know, <laughs> that's up to them. And if they, if they deem it appropriate to spend the money on whatever. 
then then so be it. But they've done a great job and they've been great stewards of that that fund. Yeah. Which is our money. You know, that's our that's our money. We paid in taxes. So this this is how the state gives us an opportunity to say what we want our tax dollars spend it on, spent on. And and that's um the reason I was given appointed the survey to that. That, the, given the survey that we did and seeing that the majority of the people um, would like to see the building saved for community use. That's yeah, so what we're doing. Sur- if the community had voted to tear down the building, I would say, yes, tear down the building. Can't get CPA dollars, but go ahead and tear it down. That's not what the people said. So I'm acting on. on uh, so we on have to say that at town meeting yeah. also. Yeah, well, that, you know. If we have a, a you know, just a shot or a slide of the, the survey results up there yeah. while we speak, I think is kind of important. Yeah. Residents only. Hadley residents only and hand out copies of the survey that people want. So <clears throat> I got an email last week from Linda Sanderson, the town treasurer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she uh, had a question about uh, what is basically what is being asked for if a feasibility study is included in our CPA application? Um, and we confirmed that it is not, but the study itself is, right? I, I don't you know, know when we when we came, the state like the stabilization. When we came up with these numbers for for the activities that we want uh, acted on, um, we were including the soft costs for those activities. So it's not necessarily feasibility study. It's the design and you know bid specs, the numbers to get the bid specs together for, for doing the roof and the, the soft costs and insurance and whatnot to get the the uh, the pointing done on the brick and the granite. So it includes, you know, the money we're asking for includes the, the costs. For the design work to get those activities done, but not necessarily a feasibility study. We don't need that at this point. So I I know that I said that at that select board meeting, and I thought that we had separated those numbers out. And in fact, I misspoke. I, I was I was I misunderstood. Uh, but we do have the soft costs, so we we are going to be able to pay for the design work and the work itself to get the the, the things done. Um, so then a follow-up to that is I just want to confirm that confirm that we want to proceed with Article 19 in general. I think we should probably vote on it because that's what Carolyn's asking for. Carolyn yeah. Brennan. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. She, she wants us to support our own article. No, she'd like to she's like to see us strike our own article, I think. So she wants to see if we wanted to amend it based on Article 18 being uh, introduced. No, I think Article 18 is a good addition. Sure. But if it's depending on how they write it, if they want to say that 19 can't be spent till 18 is done, right. I will vote against it. But That's if they right. Say That's right. They want to do Article 18 and Article 19 can proceed whether or not Article 18 goes through, you know, that's fine. I mean, I, I the, the most important thing is to stabilize the building, not to study what it can be. Um, we have no plan for that. We do have plan for DPW. That's important. That's going to cost us a big tax well, that's dollar. Not, that's not he, tonight. So we support, the right. three of us are unanimous in supporting Article 19 as is. And we will support 18 as long as it takes out that one phrase of that has to, the study has to be done first. Yeah, I think so. That makes sense to me. Okay, that sounds good. Um, do we need to do an official motion for that or? So moved. <laughs> Can I get a second? <laughs> well, we have to, should write down the actual okay. wording of the motion so okay. that we can. I move on. that we support Article 19, as originally written without any modification, and that we will, the, our committee will support Article 18 only if there is no time limit to um, 
uh, hone in uh, to to require that the feasibility study be done first, to be finished first, prior to Article 19. Okay. Um, I think the only thing is the language for Article 19 does need to be adjusted. Um, it, like the repointing versus pointing, and then they talked about the brick twice. Okay. Um, Who's they? Who wrote, wrote it? Wrote it, Carolyn. I don't know, Carolyn. Maybe. Oh, okay. This is this is something that came to you. In other words, that was presented at the select board meeting, and I took a screenshot of it and wrote it down. Okay. So I you you didn't send it to any of us. I sent the screenshot. Yeah, um, and it. it's in oh, this document, did? the public form. When did you send it? Um, at the, either the evening of the select board meeting or the following morning. Um, mm. And the public uh, in speech for 427 public forum, which I linked to confirm this meeting, um, it's at the very top. I think you're in it right now. You do? You can see what I have on my screen. I can see that you're in, the, uh, yeah, I can see that you're in the document. Yeah. What we want to include in our presentation, that's not it. Mm -mm. Speech for 427 public forum. At the very top, it says draft article 18. Three, I mean, three lines down. I get so many emails, Courtney. I just have to, have to go find all of yours. You said meeting dates. It's on in there. You're in the document right now. No, it's not in there. Wait. But you're idling. Huh? What? It's not in this document. Speech for 427 Public Forum is the name of it. Here, I'll send it again. Okay. I didn't get it. Well, it doesn't matter. So I think maybe the motion. <laughs> um, so I think um, maybe the motion should just be that we want to keep our CPA application as is, um, as shown in draft article 19. Does that make sense? Well, we support it. We have to say we support it. Yes. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I would, you know, I, I, I've been reading through this Article 18 again, and, you know, as it's written, I couldn't support it. So, I mean, if it, if they change the wording yeah. and take out, uh, you know, the fact that uh, uh, feasibility study to be undertaken prior, prior to expenditure. Prior to expenditure, yeah. Any other further CPA funds which are being sought in Article 19, I mean, that just that that kills 19. It seems like yeah. any any way you can to kill that article, Article 19, and it's it's um, it, um, it's just so we it's need to tell the select board that we, we have to tell the select board that, yeah. I mean, it's it's their choice whether they want to do it, I you know how. How many votes they get for that, and how many votes we get for Article 19 will, will be the end, you know, and you know, beyond that, you know, Dan, it's gonna be a fight. People listen to the select board and they're gonna 
They're going to do what well, the sure. select board says. Well, I, you know, I, I know a lot of people in town who are not happy with the select board right now. There's just as much as they want to say, oh, yeah, this is, you know, this is the number one question we're getting is what's going to be, what's going to happen after the stabilization. And, you know, they can help us answer that question. Yeah, I mean, I, I find it hard to believe, but where's their survey? I mean, we did a survey and surveyed all these people and yep. we know what the people want. That's why we're doing this. So we need to tell the select board that we would like them to revise that article to take out that time limitation. And if so, then we will support that article. If not, we cannot support it. It's not much of a time limitation, but it's 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 a condition. Yeah. I mean, you know, wow. you're not going to spend any money out of Article 19 under this one condition. And it's counterproductive. It kills Article 19 in effect, which, you know, you know, it, and certainly it, it might not. They, maybe they will get the study done in a timely manner. Um, but knowing how uh, much opposition we have, um, I just, I, I find a hard time believing that, that everything would go that smoothly. Um, I think we need to take that out. That's all there is to it. Uh, to see if they will do that. Given that it's very difficult to get a study going within a year or within six months or within four months. Well, the, you know, first of all, they'd have to put it on an RFQ to That's find right. a company that has the qualifications That's to do right. such a study. And then once they, you know, once they get through all of that paperwork and, and all of that, uh, you know. Yes, uh, I understand. That's why we need to ask them to take that out. And, so, you know, what's um, strange I, about, wait a minute, what's strange about this article, it says, prior to expenditure of any further CPA funds, we haven't asked for any CPA mon funds. The further is, that's probably what confused. We're asking, so they, they specify the funds in Article 19. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I don't know if the towns can, the townspeople will read that far into it. But if you have one article saying you can't spend the money out of an article, another article, you know, I'm not quite sure that's going to fly. It will, believe me. I mean, I... Because there's so many people asking, well, what's going to happen to this building? Why do we want to preserve the building? I've ha I've been... People ask me that. It's just a critical structure. It's a critical piece of property. And it, you know, it deserves a little more respect, certainly more respect than it's seen over the past 35 years. That's for sure. <laughs> I, I do also have question about the, the, the term further, because I feel like that might also prevent us from applying for CPA funding after, like even if we were to get the, the 1.2. Yeah, it just isn't a well-written article. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy to reach out to folks. Um, who do I reach out to? Carolyn, Jennifer, Mary, and Jane? I guess. And it, there, I'm sure there's a bunch of opposition to the whole thing at uh, Finance Committee, which we, we never got any kind of feel for what Finance Committee thinks of this. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, you know, I, I have a strong feeling that they're all going to say, oh, no, we can't be spending money on that. That's right. There's no use for it. That's right. Uh, you know, in fact, like I said, we've got way more important things to spend money on right now. But this this project is time critical. It has nothing to do with the amount of money that you're spending. It and it has isn't to do part of town. You're spending. It's it's stable. It's CPA money. It's not finance money. It's not town money. The the, the, uh, critis uh, the, the criticism I've heard from at least one uh, finance committee member was that. You know, they're sure that there are other ways to get this done than and instead of spending uh, prevailing wage dollars on this type of project. And that's true. 
But if well, you is wait it true? for that to happen, I don't think it's true. You're gonna. It, I think it. I know it's true. You know, there are other ways to get it done. But if you wait for that to happen, you're going to end up with the you know the North Hadley Hall situation. And I'll tell you right now, that North Hadley Hall sold to to our local residents, and Hadley is really lucky that it went to those folks. And I asked those folks before you apply for CPA funds to fix up the facades on the exterior of North Hadley <laughs> Hall. Wait until we can get some Russell School work done. Let's see if the town will vote for Russell School. And as God is my witness, they have not applied for CPA funds yet for North Hadley Hall. But when they apply for four to five times as much money as they paid for that building, I'm going to be the first one to vote for it. Because that building is a historic town building in Hadley. And those people are really good people. And they're, again, Hadley's lucky. What, that they who, wound are up with people, who are those people? The people that bought it? Is that what you're saying? People that bought it. They're good, good folks. They're good Hadley folks. They're doing a good job. They're, you know, they know the building's in, in great shape. They don't, you know, they, yeah, the exterior looks like crap, but they know that's sure strong. <laughs> and they got a killer deal on that building. Yeah, they sure did. I wrote the article supporting it. I don't know if you know that in the paper. I mean, they, they, and again, they, they apply for CPA money. I'm going to vote. Well, for they them. better Even not, Dan, until we get ours. Well, they did, they did their part. Like I said, I asked them not to apply for it until we get okay. a vote for Russell School. All right. And they, they, they didn't tell me one way or the other, but I haven't seen a, you know, warrant article for CPA funds no, to apply for funds no. for North Hadley Hall. I don't know that they've so, done anything anyhow, except. Um, I think they worked on the they've sewer worked on or something. It. Huh? They've, the they've inside, been working on it. The inside was really uh, nice before it was sold. Because I was yeah, in I there. Know about that. Yeah, it was fine. I was in there. So I mean it's a good it's a good building. It's a good historic town building. Yeah, I'm glad it's beautiful. Got it. It's actually beautiful. Um just looks needs a good paint job. <laughs> Um, it does. So where are we, Courtney? What do we have to do? Um, so I think we still have to, we have to uh, adjust the motion. Which motion? To Which article? Article, uh, well, I guess both. To support, uh, to support article 19 uh moving forward uh not adjusting the cpa application um and we would only support article 19 on the condition that uh, they uh remove the condition <laughs> yeah i we, we should, probably should be two separate motions all right who wants to do it well i um, i already uh, sent you a motion to support article 19 with with some minor uh, revisions like the pointing and whatever else that other thing was. Okay, so um, support Article Nineteen with with minor edits. Yeah, um, and we'll support. Yeah, that's that's what we have there, and then we'll support uh, eighteen if there's no um, condition. Only with of the removal of that one phrase. And also take out the word further. I don't know what that's doing. Wait. I don't. Well, CPA did give money once, right? To the Russell School for the roof. But it wasn't used. As, as yeah. yeah. Right. So. You're correct. Okay. So the motion is to support Article 19 with minor edits. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll uh, if you leave it at that, just for nineteen, I'll yeah. I'll second that. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Yes. Aye. Okay. And then um, support of Article eighteen. Um, 
uh, with the only removal. If, only with the removal of the condition for further CPA. No, the condition that, that this that study be com that. be done before before con uh, Article 19. That this study has to be done first before we can work on Article 19. Okay. So uh, su uh, supporting 18 only with the removal of the condition for further CPA funding in and in advance of Article 19. No. <laughs> Why don't you do the motion? Do All the right, motion. Let me get into it. Hold on. <laughs> Support Article 18 only with the removal of the fee the phrase feasibility study to be undertaken prior to the expenditure of any preservation funds. The prior part is, is that's the critical word. Do you know this bill? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. <laughs> You're going to take that whole thing out? Okay. She's working on it. Okay. Um, so we're moving said feasibility study to be undertaken prior to the expenditure of any further Community Preservation Act funds, which are being sought in Article 19 below. Yes. Do I get, we get rid of that whole section? Or being sought in a future article to be scheduled for fall town meeting? Once the study results are revealed or released, Are we removing all of those? I guess. We've got to take the, the CPA committee recommendation too. Well, they recommended it. They recommended Article 19. Yeah, I, you know, the, the way I read it, it, it um, they write here uh, to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $30,000 from free cash or CPA funds if approved for select board to engage a firm to undertake a reuse visibility study for the Russell School. It should be a period right there. Period. Not a comma. Yeah, everything period. else, everything else after that, except for or take any other action relative thereto, should be gone. You know, because all of that is the condition. Okay. All of that said feasibility study to be undertaken for yeah. any expenditure of any further all right. that should be stricken. Yeah. Um, because it's the condition that that it keeps us from from stabilizing stabilizing the building, you know, at any time until the select board decides, you know, it's, it's their to charge the feasibility. to you yeah. know we need to charge them to to stabilize the building before it starts to take on real, you know heavy duty interior damage. You know, we can do that quickly and effectively in one season. And, so, you know, on, on money that won't question. raise on taxes. Whoa, whoa. So the next three lines are CPA recommendation, finance committee recommendation, select board recommendation. Is that saying that this article is recommended by those three committees? Yeah, you're supposed to, after those sentences, CPA committee recommendation, you're supposed to put their vote. In other words. Oh, you know, I see. Okay. Um, so we don't know what that is. Okay. You know, 510 or whatever. And then and yeah. we're not included. <laughs> no, I mean, we we could certainly forward our recommendation. I would imagine that, um, you know, historic or historic commission would you know, it'd be good to have their recommendation on there. It would be good to have finance committee recommendation, even though I sort of know what they're going to say. Well, it's there. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of like just to let the town know what the different committees in town and boards in town are thinking about the sure. project. Yeah. Because um, well, it's really it's the town's choice. So you're you two are right. Take out that whole bloody thing. And we should explain 
to Carolyn. She probably wrote this article, Carolyn and the Select Board. Why we, because of the timing, that we don't know how long the feasibility study would take. It could be yeah. a well, whole year. And, and Carolyn, that's I think they completely understand it. And that's why they throw it out there because they uh, want to delay the process. I know they Carolyn has says, no, she, Carolyn has said that she really wants the stabilization to happen. I heard, I heard her say oh, that. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. And um, I think if James that was the has case, too. they'd be looking at the survey and they would be looking at the, what the people really want. I think that she is just worried that the, the stabilization will happen and the building will just sit there. This is Carolyn Brennan. Yeah. Well, that's the idea, though. The, the, you know, and that's the, why it's supposed wrote, to just sit there and do it. And that's why she wrote that article. I and don't it's, think it's supposed to sit there. We're stabilizing it so it can remain stable. And we don't, you know, if we don't stabilize it, it's going to go downhill oh, rapidly. Yeah. Nope. If we stabilize it, at least it will last a period of time through DPW construction. You know, if we wait, if we wait for and do study after study like we've done for the past 10 years. I don't know that we have to say more. anything about DPW, okay? No, I agree, but that's that's going to come up and it's going to be, you know, because it's, it's spending that's going to happen in the near future. We've already spent millions of dollars on these new buildings and it's not going to stop. It's going to continue. This town's not going to go bankrupt just because it's building buildings. And this is pennies compared to the others, the, the cost for the other buildings. Just stabilization. It's not reuse right now. I know, I know, I know. But it's a, such a valuable building that this is pennies in comparison to what the cost of all these other buildings are, in my opinion. Why do we have to sit here and argue with each other? Yeah, those, those uh, <laughs> motions done, we're all done. Um, let's just confirm. So uh, we are doing a motion to support Article 18 only with the removal of said feasibility study to be undertaken prior to the expenditure of any further CPA funds which are being sought in Article 19 below or being sought in a future article to be scheduled for fall town meeting once the study results released are available for town's review. Motion. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. We did it. Amazing. <laughs> Rocking back and forth a few times, but we got it. All right. So, um, yeah. So let's keep working on, you know, what we want. We only have 10 minutes left. So, um, so Emma couldn't, present. Dragon couldn't come tonight. Is that right? No, Dragon has a board of health meeting at so 7 o'clock. Uh, and she's the one that said she'd present at town meeting. Yeah. So we need to put together what we think makes sense for her to present um, in the speech for 427 public forum document. Um, I will work on that further. Hopefully everyone else will as well. Oh, question. Um, so um, Jennifer at town hall, uh, I reached out to her to see how much time we have at public forum and at town meeting, and she said she advised that I ask Kurt Whaley. For what? That's what? I thought I asked Kurt Whaley, the town. Oh, Kurt, okay. Yeah. Does anybody Wait, have uh, his information? I couldn't find Kurt it. Watley. No, that's, you know, there's a lot of mysterious stuff about town. Um, they keep a lot of stuff hidden, and okay, I have no so idea. Yes. Yeah. So you're asking for a waiver of the time limit? Is that what you just said? No. No, I need to find out how much time we have to present at the public forum and how much time we have to present at town meeting. Jennifer asked that I contact the town moderator to find out. But I don't have information. Yeah, I think it's three to five minutes at town meeting. It's not very long. Okay. I mean, yeah, if you keep if you keep your presentation to, you know, between, you know, three or four minutes, it's way plenty. You can say a lot in three minutes. And there's going to be a lot of questions, so we have to. Yeah, sure. and, it, yeah. and people, will. you know, the thing is, at the forum is not necessarily a place for people to ask questions. It's yeah. for us to give information. Yeah. And historically, uh, people are not necessarily allowed to ask questions. I think select board can can point things out and maybe ask you to clarify some stuff. 
Uh, but I don't think it's a place. I mean, they save that for town meeting floor. Let the people go to town meeting. And once you, you do your presentation at the forum, people know what to expect and they can formulate their questions for town meeting. Yeah. I, so I how will our presentation, how will our presentation to uh, at public forum be different from town meeting? Or is probably not that much. Say? Probably not much different. I mean, if, if, unless select board deems necessary that we augment our. Okay. Um, okay. I've never been to a Hadley forum, but in Amherst, hardly anybody ever came. <laughs> right. So. It's not a big deal. Well, it's also not on the town website. It has not been publicized. So um, I've been sharing on social media um, that it's happening, but I don't think many people know that it's happening. Yeah. And I so believe it's that still the, not town, the town, the town don't attorney. Wait, don't wait. The town attorney will probably be there and look at the scope of the articles and determine whether they're uh, appropriate for town meeting. Sometimes the Warren articles okay. are are not worded very well and have to be redone before town meeting. Okay. Um, anything else to touch upon for the public forum? Mm -mm. That's not in the document already. So do you want us all to be there? Is that the deal? I don't, I don't know how it works. I haven't been to one. So I mean, I think it would be great for all of us to at least be in the audience. Um, I don't know if like all the committee members go up and present or I don't know how that works. Usually it's just either the chair or a chosen person to do the presentation. Um, okay. It's not. A, a, yeah, it's not a just like thing. Carolyn said, usually not a lot of people show up. And Hadley, you know, they started doing those forums a couple of years back. And the you know the first couple of times people were actually showing up because they want to know, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we have a decent amount of people show up at this forum, uh, but um, this don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the the select board will wait till the absolute last legal minute to post any of these meetings because they, you know, many times they need that time to get stuff done. Uh, but a lot of times it, you, you'll you never know till the last second. All of a sudden, a couple, you know, warrant articles are struck from the whole agenda, and yeah. you won't even know that till the last second. And right. Yeah, but it's still. I'll. You, so you're going to go, Courtney, to that one to the forum, right? Yeah, I'll be up. All, yeah, I think you know. Their strength in numbers, so we all have, have to be at town meeting. It's important for yeah. town meeting, and we have to get all our friends to come too to vote for. <laughs> yeah, I gotta find a sitter. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask my kids. Yeah, can they vote at town meeting? No, but they can babysit my kids. I think. Well, like I oh, said, I is see. it town? <laughs> is town meeting the same night as uh, open house at Hopkins, or yes. is it yes? Okay, so that might be an issue. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Great. So uh, new business. Um, I just wanted to remind folks that on April 25th, um, there's that open meeting law webinar um, oh. that I emailed around. Um, it is strongly recommended, not required, um, but I did notify or I did reach out to the person organizing it and they said that it will be recorded and available afterwards. So um, I'll be happy to collect that and send it around to folks who cannot attend on April 25th. Um, I've been doing and Zealand. That's a webinar. Does it tell you what time it is? Yeah, I think it's at, let me see. We have a meeting at 5.30? Yeah, <laughs> yes, we do. it's at noon. Okay. Noon to 1.15. All right, thank you. Yeah. What's the 5.30 meeting? Um, is that different than our committee? The 5.30 meeting is our meeting in preparation for um, like last minute stuff for public forum. And that's on the 25th? And, yeah, 25th and 5.30. Okay. And that'll be our last meeting before town meeting in theory, so. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah, so next meeting we just talked about April 25th. Do we want to book out another one now or do we just wait until the 25th? I don't care. It might make sense to schedule one for the 8th so we can sort of process what happened on the 4th. Okay. I'm open. Um, do we want to try to do Tuesdays? May 9th, Tuesday. I'm busy. <laughs> okay. And it's my daughter's birthday. Okay. Uh, May 10th, Wednesday at 5.30? Either the 8th or the 10th is fine with me. Okay, because I know well, Dragon What about Emma? Anyone. What about Dragon? Does she, she have a do... on Wednesdays? I'm not sure about Wednesdays, but she cannot do Mondays. And Thursdays are usually when the Board of Health meets. Okay. So May, May 10th. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. Uh, I did not take minutes. Okay. There was hardly much what? to say in the minutes. Well, I okay. guess the articles. Huh? <laughs> Approval of articles. That was okay. about it. Um, anything else? Are we good? Motion to adjourn. I second. second that. Okay. All right, all in favor. All right. All right.